controller. The little controller is certainly the highlight of the show, so let's dig into it. The motion-enabled wand matches the dark aesthetic of the New Gear VR, though it also goes nicely with the older model. Powered by two AAA batteries, the small controller features a volume rocker, as well as a circular touchpad and the back and home button duo to mimic what's found on the side of the headset. On its back, there's a single trigger, which is nice to have for the inevitable onslaught of first-person shooters. There are a handful of games that offer controller compatibility and they work in a manner that you'd expect if you've played anything on Google's Daydream headset or even the Nintendo Wii. You can aim the controller around in the virtual reality world to select, shoot or pick up objects. Compared to other experiences, Samsung's controller feels and performs on par. For many early pre-order adopters of the Samsung Galaxy S8 and Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, the new headset and its controller will come free. But even at $39, about £30, 50 Australian dollars, the controller is a welcome well-built addition to the Gear VR family. Samsung has made the controller compatible with the backlog of apps and games that are already available to users. Both the trigger and touchpad execute the same simple confirm command, but the motion capabilities are otherwise turned off. 